What's up guys, my name is Dartigan and welcome to the Info Drop. Coming up on the show, fresh details on the coming Titanfall beta. We finally learn who is handling the Xbox 360 version of the game, and as well as a few other small details. Yesterday over Twitter it was officially announced that yes, Titanfall will have a beta, confirming all the leaked info we've had over the week. According to the announcement, the beta will be only for the PC and Xbox One versions, meaning the 360 version gets shafted. This doesn't really surprise me so much. They've kept the 360 version behind a curtain this entire time, and I seriously doubt we will see anything from the 360 version until launch, making you wonder why they're even bothering with the 360 version. They obviously don't want you to see it and compare the two. If that's the case, then just don't make it. Though we did learn who is developing the 360 version, a developer called Bluepoint Games. These guys seem to specialize in porting games from one system to another. They've handled ports of Metal Gear Solid HD Edition, Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, and God of War among others. So that's all in good hands as far as I can tell, but it leaves me wondering once again why all the secrecy about it. We should have known this little detail months ago. It's obvious they're a bit worried about the 360 version's graphics, or maybe something else like the netcode or the scale, but is anyone really expecting the 360, a very old machine, to match the Xbox One or PC? It's just silly and irrational. We should have seen some footage from the 360 version by now. According to images from a GameStop in France, the beta will run from February 14th to February 19th. So five full days of Titanfall. That sounds pretty good to me. Also confirmed by Respawn over Twitter, the beta will not require a pre-order of Titanfall, as was originally rumored. This is pretty good news because I am hoping to play both during the beta, and compare the two. In other news, PC owners will find out the minimum spec requirements before the beta happens. Given that this is a modified source engine, I don't expect them to be that high. Also surprising absolutely no one, EA confirmed an investor call that Titanfall will have DLC sometime after launch. And finally, there will be a limited edition art book for 75 US dollars. There will be only 500 copies worldwide, so if that is in your interest, you might want to act fast. Before I sign off, I want to encourage everyone to check out the official Titanfall wiki on Gamepedia.com for more information on Titanfall and other games. This has been Dartigan, and I'll see you next time, pilots.